So believe it or not, this actually sparked a lot of controversy on the internet, but what's really bizarre is that there are many individuals who are actually praising what uh, the company behind Alan Wake is doing. And what they're doing is that they will not have a physical disc launch, uh, but instead they're going to lower the price for the digital release of the game. So it's going to be $60 uh, for the consoles and $50 for the PC. Now, the problem with digital access and, and having your game in the cloud um, has to do with two issues. Number one, the moment that the game isn't supported, there is a high chance that you won't be able to get it from anywhere officially. Um, and uh, th th this has happened with several games in the past. Uh, but the other problem is that you technically do not own it. Like, you just have the ability to log in and play, but the company can take away that ability whenever they want, and that couldn't happen when people actually had the physical copy of the disc. So, here, here's the main problem with this. Imagine that uh, Gabe Newell eventually steps down, and you get, like, this uh, red-haired person coming on and is now at the helm as the CEO of Steam. And they decide that Steam is going to have new TOS uh, and uh, they're, they're going to police their community a little bit more. So that if you make uh, a little bit of racism, you say a racist joke, uh, maybe you do even something off-platform, uh, they can just take away your game's library. So you can have thousands of dollars invested into the Steam account over the course of several years, um, and they can just unilaterally take it away. Why? Because my private company can do whatever it wants. And uh, just imagine the level of control that they would have over people if they could do this, if they could get away with this. They, they would just be able to say, all right, so if you spread misinformation online, we're taking away your game accounts. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Is it possible? It depends. Um, not really in the European Union. They tried doing this even outside the EU. They tried doing this with Russia. Uh, they uh, apparently, like like one of the um, the citizens of Russia at the time, uh, called the Steam moderator the N word, and the Steam moderator just took away his entire game library. Now, in Russia, there is a um, there is a government funding. Institute, which basically uh, gives lawyers for citizens to protect them against corporations. So they basically like the government sues on your behalf. And uh, in that case, uh, Steam got sued and they had to reinstate the person's account back. But if I remember correctly, they wouldn't allow him to chat. The European Union, most countries uh, from the EU have a similar thing. But I feel like there are places in America and other countries where you don't have these protections. So, yeah, like Steam could literally just take away your ability to, um, own, to, to have the games that you get because you don't really own them. You just own the ability to log on Steam and you, you have the ability to, to launch the games that you have. But what if Steam, like, one day even goes down? Like, what then? Right? So... This is why a lot of people are upset about the concept of uh, digital only. Uh, but there are a lot of shills and a lot of people who are literally attacking uh, anyone that wants to have physical copies. And I, I genuinely do not understand why. I mean, it would make sense if like those $10 are really that important for them and they believe that, uh, you know, uh, well, th if this is the future, games are going to be cheaper. Uh, but in reality, I do think that for a while, sure, but then they're going to raise the price again. Like, these greedy corporations have shown this time and time again that they will do anything in order to get an extra buck from the players. So, it's very unlikely that the prices of $60 for console and $50 for PC on a digital-only release is going to remain that way. Um, I do think that this is an uh, attempt to crash the physical uh, copy market, but it is something that may have happened uh, regardless of this. I mean, most people, overwhelmingly, um, they prefer to buy the digital copy. But uh, do let me know where you stand on this, and I will see you guys in the comment section. Take care.